Welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we've got a little bit of barnacle removal action for you guys. So if you guys are dealing with barnacles, this is the video you're gonna wanna watch. Now, I just wanna say up front, the footage is not perfect by any means. The angle of the camera on my head was not at the correct angle for you to see everything that I'm doing. But I still wanted to make this video because I know how important and you know, some of you guys are probably dealing with barnacles on the bottom of your boats, right? We just had a hurricane, a lot of clients dealing with these issues, a lot of boat owners. And yeah, if you wanna remove this yourself, super easy, just need a day to do it. And we're gonna explain exactly how to do that right now. The first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna scrape off the tops of the barnacles. So whether you got a plastic razor blade, which is what I have, a paint scraper, or even a blade with a handle for more serious barnacles, you have to scrub and get off the tops of the barnacles and remove that the best you can before you continue on. This is the most important part of the process. Make sure you do this to the entire bottom of the boat. After that, you're gonna wanna pressure wash the entire bottom of your boat. This is going to remove dirt, any grime, and it's going to remove loose particles within the barnacles, and some of that's going to come off the boat initially. Now, do not expect the pressure washer to take off the platelets of the oysters that are actually bonded to the gel coat. And keep in mind, guys, we're not talking about a bottom painted boat. This is a little bit different of a process. If you do have bottom paint, all you need to do is get a high PSI pressure washer, four to 5,000, and spray those off with the pressure washer. This is a little different because we have the oysters actually bonded to the gel coat, and this is going to require a different process. Now, what we do have today is we have a 2700 PSI Ryobi pressure washer, which you can snag or go check out if you want to support me, support our website at 1% detail. Dot com and if not guys that's okay too head to lowe's head to home depot get that price in store gonna be a better deal and yeah ryobi makes great pressure washers the 2700 is my favorite one for boat detailing works excellent it's electric high powered pretty much can do anything that you're looking for as a boat detailer or boat owner as long as you've got a pressure washer between 2000 to 3000 psi you're going to be good to go for this project and i always use the lowest angle so i think this is a 10 or 15 on the head of the pressure washer sprayer so you're going to want to make sure you have the most aggressive angle and then yeah guys spray off the entire bottom make sure everything's clean all the loose particles are off and then you're going to be ready for the next step Step one and step two are complete. We removed the top of the barnacles and then second, we pressure washed the bottom of the boat to remove any loose particles and prep us for the next step, which we're doing right now. So we're doing an acid application with pure muriatic acid. We are using Clean Strip, which is the brand of the muriatic acid. And you guys can check this out. You guys can get this at 1percentdetail.com. You're gonna get a four pack and this is going to be super economical. So about 40 to $50 also, or better yet, go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, get this stuff in store. It's gonna be about $12 per gallon. And yeah, definitely get yourself four gallons because I think I ran through about three on this boat and this is only a 20 foot boat. And this all really depends on how bad the barnacles are. So if your barnacles are horrible, yeah, you want to be on the safe side, get four to five gallons and be ready to go because you are going to be spraying a ton of this stuff all over your boat and it's going to dissolve the barnacles. Now you are going to want to make sure you have gloves. So nine mil gloves are recommended and make sure you have a face mask. This stuff burns your skin like nobody's business. Do not go and buy other brands of hall cleaner, guys. I've used it all, and don't go spend and waste a ton of money on Easy On, Easy Off, West Marine. No, get yourself pure muriatic acid. This stuff is the strongest formula. 
and it is the best for removing barnacles. Now what happens is you spray this on your barnacles and these calcium platelets, they slowly begin to bubble and dissolve right off your boat. So you're gonna wanna do multiple applications. And what I do is I do an application, I wait a few minutes, do another application, wait a few minutes, and then I spray it off with a pressure washer. So it's kind of a back and forth cycle. I spray on the acid, let it sit for a few minutes, get the pressure washer out, try to break that stuff up, get off what I can, and back and forth, back and forth. Usually I do about four to five applications, and that is going to be good to get you to the point where you can actually get those platelets off the boat with a following step, which we will be covering soon. Before we jump to the next step, I just want to mention some tips to help you guys to keep you guys rolling and rocking on this project. Now, get yourself some cheap spray bottles. I went to Home Depot, got like two or three dollar spray bottles. I got six of them. And yeah, because your acid is going to ruin those sprayers over time, and you're going to have to switch them out, switch them out, switch them out. So throughout the day, you're going to need to get new bottles to keep your sprayers working on the boat so definitely again like i said you guys use muriatic acid do not go and waste a ton of money 70 80 bucks at west marine get yourself this 12 dollars clean strip muriatic acid and it's the best stuff for removing barnacles also you guys you can remove rust stains and anything like that so just a pro tip if you want to get really cheap with it and saving you guys money on your boat details on your rust removal this is going to work excellent you probably notice I have these big blue tarps on the trailer. So if you are doing this project on your boat trailer, make sure you tarp this off because that acid will destroy the finish on your boat trailer. So just making sure everything's protected and everything's blocked off, taped off, and you're ready to go. You know, acid is super hard stuff, very abrasive, very corrosive. So just make sure you're protecting your services that you're working on. Do not do this project on concrete. This stuff will etch your concrete so bad it'll be extremely noticeable it'll corrode right through your concrete so we are doing this on asphalt also do this on stone somewhere where you know that you're going to be safe and you're not going to damage any surfaces that you're not intending to We did step number one. We knocked down the barnacles, took the tops off, and then secondly, we went ahead and got the pressure washer. We pressure washed the bottom of the boat to prep our surface and make sure we got any loose barnacles off the boat before we started our application of our acid process. And then what we did, we took muriatic acid, we put that in a spray bottle, we sprayed that on the boat, the bottom of the boat, to remove the barnacles, and we did four to five applications, interchanging between application and then pressure washer back and forth until all of our barnacles were dissolved. So you're going to notice that acid is going to sit in those barnacles. It's going to dissolve and it's going to bubble up and take those barnacles right out of your boat. So you're not doing any of the work. The acid is doing all the work for you. It's just application, pressure washer, application, pressure washer. Now you're going to get to a point where you notice there's just these little circles still left on your boat. Now, a lot of people will stop at this point. They'll think they've done it all, you know, and they think they're ready to go. But actually, if you want to get your boat perfect, you have that opportunity to do that with this final step. So these little platelets, you're going to see they're still on the boat. Your boat's going to look a whole lot better, but still not perfect. And if you want to achieve that, you're going to want to stick around for this final step. You're probably like, Simon, what the heck are you doing now? Well, guys, like I said, the reason most people stop here is because when you go to wash the bottom of your boat with a brush, you know, like a deck brush, like a Sherhold brush, or even a microfiber hand mitt, you're going to notice that these little circles, these little platelets don't come off the boat. So what you have to do actually is you have to take a magic eraser and scrub those suckers off the boat. So a lot of people aren't going to know this, they're not going to notice this. But if you do want to get your boat perfect, it has that opportunity if you do this last step. Now, depending on how bad your barnacles are, if your barnacles are horrible, they've been sitting on there for years, they're all over the bottom, well, you might actually have to sand your boat with sandpaper, so like an Aberlon or an Abernet probably, which is going to be the better option. You're going to have to sand those off of the boat. But on light barnacles like this, a magic eraser are going to get that boat looking perfect and this is the final step going to spend about 20 30 minutes scrubbing the whole bottom of this boat with a magic eraser and guys you're going to want to see the after footage because this boat looks brand new
That's gonna be a wrap to the video. So we had four steps. Number one, knock down the barnacles. Number two, pressure wash. Number three, acid application. Number four, magic eraser. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, drop a comment. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button now. You know how much value we are bringing to you every single Sunday at 9 a.m. So stay tuned, guys, for 2023. And with that said, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.